He's still there, Spence. He's still there. You got him, Spence. You got him. Got him. Got him. Reloaded. Fishing with Joe Booker Reloaded is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hey folks, welcome to our musky segment. We got Spence Petros here with me. And Spencer just caught one heck of a beautiful fish. And that's what this segment is all about, is Spence and the superior technique of figuring. Spence, just talk quickly, you know, good three or four points about how you caught that fish and why and why that, that fish probably wouldn't have been caught if it wasn't good technique. Well, uh, you, that's no question about it. You have to have good technique and you have to be ready for it. Even if you go a long time without seeing a fish, you gotta be on point and get ready to go. And, uh, you know, you, you make the fish react to what you're doing. I mean, that came, fish came in pretty hard. Yeah. He wasn't grabbing it. But, you know, you make the turn like that. And I like to speed it up a little bit. I really don't like them to hit if I'm pulling it like that and they're they, over here. Because when you set the hook, a lot of times you pull it out. Okay, what I like to do is I like to try to keep it away from it a little bit until I get the good angle for a hook set. He was charging at it like that and sort of pulled it up a little bit. And then when you make that turn, if they can grab it on the turn, they can get the hooks back into them. Like that, you, you really got a much better chance of hooking them as opposed to just, you know, bouncing it off the front of their mouth, pulling it like that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the figure eight is an angle. And as we were both be doing, you know, we were doing, you know, nice and big eights. The long yep. rods, yep. eight yep. plus rods are really good. You know, the long eights and, and both of us, a lot of times we'll go into a circle yep. after that. You do a couple of the eights and I like to keep the little bait fairly high to see how the fish is reacting to it. And then you have some other options if he's not hitting. Go into the big circle, get it down deeper. Sometimes even as a last resort, slapping the water a little bit like that with the rod at the end. That works. I mean, there's a bunch of different things. And the other thing is don't give up on them. I know, I know I've made as many as 30, 35 figure eights. I'm sure you've done that, if not more. Just keep doing it. And, and if you got the right angle and your partner's saying, whoop, I saw a flash, he's still there. I saw a flash. You may see something I don't see, or mm -hmm. I may see something you don't see when you're figure eighting it. So you work together as a team and... Um, that's what happens. Once in a while you have a touchdown. Once in a while you have a touchdown. Check it out. Spencer's got a big one here. Yeah, he's coming good too. Oh, big one too. That's a hot fish. That's a hot fish. That's a caught fish. Come on, Spence. Come on, Spence. He's still there, Spence. He's still there. You got him, Spence. You got him. Got him, Spence. You got him. Got him, Spence. Oh, is he a big one, man. That is a big fish. Step up to the right a little bit more. Get to the right if you can. Okay? Move that way a little bit. Give me a little more room here. Oh, that's a that is a beauty. That is a beauty. Keep him up. That's a caught fish. That's a caught. Don't say that. Don't say that. That fish was going. You got him. We got him. You got him. A big fish for today. Big fish. Number five, too. Fifth fish. Number five for today. Man. Oh, black beauty. You have them hooked on both, Spencer? 
and it did, didn't you? Good and fish, good. Spence. That's a dandy, my friend. That's a dandy. And an outstanding job on the figure eight, too. What do you think, oh, folks, huh? That is a beaut. That is a beaut. Midday, the right kind of day that we like. Yep. It is a beauty.